Hello guys, welcome to my channel Professions in Canada and today we are here with my dear friend Harpreet uh, who is a financial advisor with Desjardins and uh, I can't even count the number of awards he has gotten since last year like he has been voted Ottawa's best financial advisor by the Faces magazine and uh, also like a uh, lot of other awards like I'll probably list them all up in the description but uh, Harpreet why don't you introduce yourself for our audience sure thank you very much thank you uh, Tarun for uh, uh, giving me this chance to speak with the audience uh, so my name is Harpreet Singh I'm the founder and uh, owner of Zoho Financial and uh, uh, we work with uh, Desjardins Financial Securities as our fund dealer and uh, basically uh, my office here is on uh, Woodruff Avenue 1439 and uh, Tarun has been very kind to say all the good things about me so I was definitely thank you to all the viewers and thank you to um, all my clients as well that I was uh, I was voted as uh, top 20 in Canada last year and uh, and uh, you guys have been good to me thank you and uh, why did you choose this profession like uh, where did you choose to become a financial advisor so it's interesting that how the journey actually takes place but uh, in a nutshell i was uh, i have been a professor at algonquin for almost 10 years i have uh, taught in the school of business and uh, uh, i came from a marketing background i was a management consultant i had my consulting firm and uh, Educating people has always been my passion and that's something that I absolutely love doing and even my clients who are watching this video they know that sometimes I educate too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's the part that has basically brought me in because when I was doing management consulting people were asking questions okay what do I do with my money I have spare money in my corporation and I wasn't licensed or I was not qualified to give that advice. So that's when I decided that you know I want to extend my consulting business and do some finance and little did I realize that this is actually going to become my full-time profession and yeah. consulting will take a back seat. And uh, what does your typical day-to-day -day look like and are you able to maintain a good work-life balance and um, is your family happy with you doing this job? My family is definitely happy, they are very proud. Uh, last week we had a virtual award ceremony and my my family actually gave, gave me a big surprise by doing a video that was uh, telecasted, broadcasted nationally. They're definitely proud of me, but I would say that it's still very intense. Yeah. Um, it's not a profession that you can say that, oh, I will work 10 hours a week or 15 hours a week. Like in a typical week, if you say, I would say at least 10 to 15 hours go into doing research, learning more, educating yourself, upgrading yourself. Uh, and then I would say, uh, another probably about 30 to 40 hours in client meetings um, for the administration I have my my staff as well that helps me with the admin uh, there's back office that helps me as well uh, and then you know reaching out doing social media so all of that like a good 60 70 hours I would say minimum oh, wow. a week so uh on, on that point, one of my question is, uh, I've seen a lot of my friends ask me that uh, why not do this part time, like do one thing part time, do their other job, but you say that it's uh, it takes you like almost 60 to 70 hours just to, uh, because you are a full time financial advisor. So what, what would you advise to those guys and also like people entering into this profession for the first time, what would be your advice for somebody thinking to enter it part time and somebody want to enter full time i i understand the i understand the concept behind part time but i think part time might be good for you as a advisor it might be okay that you made an extra 10 20 thousand dollars in a year but i think you're doing a disservice to the client because this profession is all about trust it's all about you're managing people's money so you're managing people's lives yeah. um, you're dealing with the life insurance you're dealing with the risk management for their family uh, they've taken a hundred thousand or a uh, million dollar mortgage they've taken a hundred thousand dollar loan and now you're managing the risk and uh, if you do it part-time I don't think that you're able to do that right service to the client so you may make money I'm not saying you wouldn't you would probably make like if you say it's a side gig and I make $20,000 I'm good but I don't think that the client will be benefiting from um, 
from your service as much because as i said if you wanted to do it 10 20 hours a week you need that much time just to learn you need that much time to just keep updated with what's happening in the market what are the new regulations coming in what's the new technology yeah. coming in what can you do and so on that itself takes like you know the part time person's uh, yeah. hours right so so yeah so i mean uh, my advice to anybody who wants to start it i would say you know be prepared to be in it uh, for the client be prepared to be in it that you are going to be uh, dealing with people's financial lives which is actually like you know statistically it's the biggest stressor in people's lives yeah so if you're trying to take that stress away you cannot take that stress away part time it's like you know you cannot be a car mechanic during the day and then like you know open a couple of brains in the <laughs> evening right so so you can't be a brain surgeon part time yeah you can't be a doctor part time you cannot be a financial advisor part time either and uh, like on that note uh, are there any changes you would like to see in the current financial industry only one change if you had the power to do it i think the word financial advisor is still being used very loosely in our industry yeah so that's something that i would definitely say because there are people who are for example insurance agents uh, i have insurance license as well but when an insurance agent actually is able to introduce themselves as a financial advisor a common person does not understand that this person does not have the power to uh, take care of all your investments in all the different ways or they don't have the in-depth knowledge they've just know about insurance and a little bit investments that come under yeah. the insurance umbrella right uh, so i think that part is definitely it's coming i, I mean you know th- there have been a lot of um consultations in the industry and i think by next year we will probably have more clarity on the word financial planner the word financial advisor and the word uh, insurance advisor so i think once those three terms are more segregated then i think people will have more clarity on who should they go to for what kind of advice i think on that note probably uh, one of the video i'll do with you is how to kind of become a insurance advisor or how to become a financial yep. advisor but for now like uh, just as a uh, motivation to become these things uh, how much can you make in this profession oh. <laughs> money is there there's no limit like honestly tarun that's that's with any um, business i would say there's no limit because it all depends on how you approach it if you take a long term view um you can actually set this business up in such a way that in 10 years time uh january 1st every year you would be starting out at $100,000 or or $200,000 right away without even like acquiring any new clients you just simply serve your old clients and you just keep them happy you could be making that money but the run up to that Yeah. the runway is a little bit there like you know that it takes you about 5 to 10 years to build that book of business where you can say that okay now i have had let's say 3 4 5 100 very highly satisfied customers and those clients are keeping on uh staying with me and yeah. then they will continue so i would say if you're starting out you make let's say 50 60000 in the in the first year or or by the second year you get to 100000 i would say you're pretty successful and i think uh, you pretty much made the point there even on payscale.com that's like the official mapping salary guide like if you search for a financial advisor every salary that comes close to that number yeah uh, so uh, one of my next fun question and one of my last question is if you had a magic wand and do you wanted to change professions or do anything in this life what would be your alternate profession be oh uh, that's I think the alternate profession is being a professor at the college. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, and and trust me, you know like yeah. the uh, the reason that I love this and I I said this at the beginning of the interview as well. You have to love what you do. Yeah. So I don't I mean, you know, in the morning when I have to come to my office, I literally like jump out of bed and I'm excited about the day, right? So I don't treat it as a job, I don't treat it as a profession. I treat it as like oh, I love doing this. And and all of you who have ever like, you know, had any meeting or any conversation with me you know how passionate i am about you know education on on this so that's why like you know i don't think that i'm doing anything very different from the classroom other than that now it's your money and i'm not giving you yeah. a test or a quiz yeah. to mark you 
uh, and and uh, you know yeah. we are working together on building a better financial future for you but that's exactly what i do and that's exactly what i would continue to do and that's a really great point because uh, i think the financial knowledge is lacking in our school system anyways uh, but a bigger video can be done on that so i'll yeah. leave that point for now but uh, thanks harpreet for taking your time and doing this interview with me and thanks a lot guys for uh, staying with us and watching this video do like subscribe share and i'll definitely share harpreet's info in the description so that you can contact him directly for any of your question as well so thanks a lot have a good one thank you very much